August 14th. On this day, on the full feast of the Domitian of the All Holy Mother of God, we celebrate the memory of the Holy Prophet Micah. Born in Moreshet, to the west of Hebron, in the country of Judah, the Holy Prophet Micah, who is probably of peasant origin, exercised his ministry during the reigns of Jotam, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, the kings of Judah. He was a contemporary of the prophet Isaiah. He may have been one of his disciples, Amos and Hosea, and like them he was full of strength and the breath of the Lord. He undertook to proclaim to Jacob his crime and to Israel his sin. Calling on the mountains, those places of divine revelation as witnesses, he announced that the Lord was about to enter into judgment with his people, to demand an accounting for their ingratitude. Listen, O mountains, he says, to the judgment of the Lord. Give ear, enduring fountains of the earth, for the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend against Israel. He found the people guilty not only of impiety and negligence in their religious duties, but also of transgressions against the law of love towards their neighbor. He writes, The faithful have disappeared from the land, all lie in wait for blood, and each hunts his brothers with nets. Sin and impiety have spread everywhere. The wicked plan evil on their beds and carry it out once day has broken. The leaders devour the flesh of the people and abhor justice, perverting all equity. The magistrates take bribes, the priests eagerly seek payment, the false prophets announce happiness and prosperity in return for money. And all lean on the ancient promises of God, saying, Is the Lord not in our midst? No evil shall come upon us. Micah was ready to travel throughout the land, barefoot and naked, lamenting and mourning, for there was no remedy against the blows of the Lord which were to fall on his holy place, wrecking vengeance by the hands of the Assyrian invaders from the north. He says, He will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. The mountains will melt under his steps, the valleys collapse as wax before the fire, as waters poured on a steep place. He would strike Samaria first, and then his blows would fall on Jerusalem, to punish the crimes of the people, and especially the greatest they have committed, the schism between the kingdom of the north and that of Judah. Pronouncing these oracles woe, the prophet Micah despised all human respect and all fear of the powerful of this world, looking only to the Lord and hoping in the God who could save his people just as he chastised them. It was true that Zion would become like a ploughed field, Jerusalem a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the temple a wooded height. But after this trial, the Lord would be reconciled with his people and would reign forever in a renewed Zion. The Jews who had returned from exile, the remnant of Israel, but also numerous peoples, would all mount up to the temple of the glory of the Lord. This new era of peace and harmony was to be inaugurated from Bethlehem, the house of Ephrata the least of the clans of Judah, until the time that she which travails have brought forth to give birth to the King Messiah, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Thus announcing the birth of the Messiah, the prophet makes it clear that it is he who will shepherd the renewed flock by the power of the Lord, for he shall be great to the ends of the earth. In this new Zion, the spiritual Jerusalem which designates the church, whose frontiers stretch to the extremities of the earth, all peoples will gather together from Assyria to Egypt, from Tyre to the river, from sea to sea and from mountain to mountain. For God will regard them with favor and will give his grace once more. The prophecy of Micah finishes with an appeal for mercy, which the Messiah will come to accomplish. Once more have mercy on us, tread our iniquities underfoot and cast our sins into the depth of the sea. It is not known 
whether the prophet Micah died in peace or whether he was the victim of the Israelites whom he rebuked. But what is certain is that he was buried close to the village where he was born and that his relics were found along with those of the prophet Habakkuk during the reign of Theodosius the Great after a revelation to the bishop of Eleftheropolis. A shrine was then built in his honor. Blessed is our God, always God, forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. As we celebrate the memory of thy prophet, Traversing the water as on dry land, and thereby escaping from the toils of Egypt's land, the Israelites cried aloud, proclaiming, Unto our God and Redeemer let us now sing, O holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Thou now stands before the fashion as an exceedingly clear mirror of God and of the things of God. Importune him, O blessed Micaiah, as to save from dangers those who praise thee with faith. Holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Filled with spiritual understanding and wisdom from God, O most excellent Micaiah, thou being pure, was initiated into knowledge of things to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Pious Expounding the Lord's oracles, the old blessed prophet, thou didst describe his appearing unto us, saying, The Lord shall appear from heaven on the earth. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To deliver them that were once held captives, he who was before the ages appeared on earth, O Mother of God, through the assumption of flesh in these last days. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit doth sing thy praise. O holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Thy tongue was a pen of the divine spirit, wherewith thou mayst plain unto us the fulfillment of things to come. Holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Thou didst show us him that was before the ages, becoming flesh in Bethlehem, even the Saviour, the Prince, and the Ruler of all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Shining with the illuminations of prophecy, O glorious prophet Micaiah, thou became for us the most exact teacher of things past understanding. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art that most manifest mountain whereon the Lord set foot and appeared, O all pure virgin, and to which we now flee for refuge. Having found thee to be a pure vessel free of spot, the mighty grace of the Spirit dwelt in thee, rousing thy soul. 
to speak clearly of the things to come as though at hand. O prophet heralding Christ God, O Micaeus never cease from earnestly interceding for us who worthily honour with hymns thy glorious memorial. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As we now celebrate the bright pre-festival of the translation of the Mother of our God, let us cry unto her in radiant gladness and jubilation. Rejoice, thou who art taken up from the earth unto heaven's heights. Rejoice, thou whose dormition has quickened all the ends of the earth. O full of grace, remember the whole world as thou art now translated in glory. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. Illuminated with the rays of divine inspiration from above, O admirable Micaeus, thou didst reveal things to come, seeing them as though they had been present. Holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. The law is gone forth out of Zion, as thou foretold, O blessed of God, and the report of Christ has been preached unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord of all has appeared, that he might reign over the house of Jacob, and as a shepherd he does shepherd his people in the glory of his name. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The descendant of Adam was entrusted to become the mother of God, the Creator, for she inexpressibly brought him forth when he became flesh of her. Waking at dawn, we cry to thee, O Lord, save us, for thou art our God. And besides thee we know none other. O holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. Thou didst love to follow after the Lord, O all-wise Micaeus, being ready to walk in his way. Holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. Thou didst perceive the salvation which was to come unto all the nations from the Jews, O marvelous prophet. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou for souls, and didst proclaim grace, O God, revealer, whereon to droves of nations fled and was both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou shone forth as the place of the Lord whence he issued forth and rescued the world from error, O Mother of God. Grant me a garment of light, O thou who coverest thyself with light as with a garment, most merciful Christ our God. O holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. Cleaving to the laws of God, O all celebrated prophet, thou didst convict all the transgressed against the keeping of the law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Micaeus, thou divine and venerable instrument of the Spirit, by thine entreaties preserve the faithful from perish. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou mayest the house of Judah, illustrious, O Virgin, when thou didst manifest him that dawned from thy holy womb. By morning star memorial is come a prophet, brimming with prophetic graces and welling up rivers of repentance. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. In the fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy prophet Micaeus, pray to God for us. Thou didst prove most profitable unto the master of all, and most assiduous in teaching them that held sway, and in reproving their audacity, O wonder-worthy Micaeus, 
while crying, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Shining with the lightnings of the godly life and of purity, thou became the prophet of the divine manifestation, O blessed one, while singing, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The world that is of the same working power and eternity with him that begat him is fashioned as man in the virgin's womb by the good pleasure of the Father. O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. When the musical instrument sounded in unison and the countless multitudes worshipped the image in Dira, the three children were not persuaded, but they praised the Lord and glorified him unto all the ages. O holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. The word of God who coexisted from the beginning, even from eternity, has appeared as Micaiah foretold, redeeming Adam's children, who praise the Lord and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Initiated in spirit, thou didst cry, the master delights in mercy, and since he is compassionate, he repents of the iniquities of them that sing in faith and supremely exalt him unto the ages. We bless for the Son and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou shones like the brightness of lightning, O Micaiah, for becoming a translucent looking glass, so didst receive the radiance of God, while crying, praise you, the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having as mighty consolation him that was born, Born of the O Virgin, we hold fast to the Holy Apostolic Confession as we praise the Lord and we supremely exalt Him unto all the ages. Most rightly we confess Thee as our God's birth giver, we who through Thee have been saved, O Thou Virgin most pure. With choirs of bodiless angels, Thee do we magnify. O holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for us. Shining with flashing beams of piety, thou stands before the undefiled and purest mind, ever interceding for the world. Holy prophet Micaiah, pray to God for Thy us. Thy morning star memorial is come, O prophet, brimming with prophetic graces and welling up rivers of repentance. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou looks upon the world's Saviour, who is come, Come according to thy prophecy, O blessed Micaiah. Take thy delight in that gladness that passes understanding. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou art higher and purer than all, make my soul to be pure of its defilement, O thou who didst conceive the transcendently good God. Most rightly and befittingly, a prince and ruler shall come forth, and he shall shepherd his people. In peace, so didst thou foretell us. He cometh out of Bethlehem, his goings forth are verily from the days of eternity. And we have all been saved through him, O godly prophet Micaiah. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. 
for the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy prophet Micaeus, with the prayers of the holy Haramat and Marcellus of Cyprus, the bishop of Apamea in Syria, with the prayers of the holy martyr Ursicius of Illyricum, with the prayers of the holy martyr Lucius, the soldier who was perfected in martyrdom by fire, with the prayers of the holy new martyr Simeon of Trapezon, who was perfected in martyrdom by hanging in Constantinople in 1653. With the prayers of our righteous father Theodosius, the abbot of the Kiev Caves, whose holy relics have been recovered on this day. With the prayers of our righteous father Arcadius of Novotozhok, with the prayers of Saint Fachnon and Saint Werenfried, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 